In the Tafelzuch neighborhood in Cape Town's Mitchell's Plain urban area, Feruz Kelly is fighting to protect her grandchildren from warring gangsters. She's already lost one. In 2019, 10-year-old Aisha Kelly was killed by a stray bullet during a gunfight between alleged gangsters. Feruz Kelly explains that Aisha was walking to a nearby shop with her mom. Aisha went around the corner and we heard the shot just go bah. And then it's like, yo, what happened now? And somebody came around the corner, jumping so high from the ground to call, Aisha's laying here, Aisha. Kelly says a few days after her granddaughter was buried, South African Minister of Police Becky Kele visited and they discussed the three suspects who'd been apprehended. But she says she's still waiting for justice. He made a lot of promises to me and my daughter. He said the case is going to be finished in less than a year, and it's almost three years down the drain. Member of Parliament Ocker Ter Blanche serves on the Portfolio Committee on Police. Ter Blanche compared South Africa's homicide figure to the number of civilians killed in Ukraine, which the UN estimates to be about 9,000 since Russia invaded in February 2022. Ter Blanche says the latest homicide statistics compiled by the police show 6,000 people were slain in the first three months of this year. And he says in the 12 months from April 2021 to March 2022, the number of homicides in South Africa was roughly 25,000. Only 14%, only 14% of all murders that got reported to the police, you know, the police succeed to investigate properly. The detective rate is only 1-4, 14%. Only 14% of reported murders were solved by police last year. In reply to questions from VOA, Police Ministry spokesperson Lorenzo Temba wrote that the ministry is spearheading a detective academy to bolster investigation capabilities. And it's also looking beyond South Africa's shores for assistance in this matter. When announcing the latest crime statistics in May, Trele said that police visibility would improve and more technology would be employed. The SEPS is also purchasing unmanned aerial vehicles or so-called drones to better police from the sky. More drone pilots are also being licensed and drone pilots in tents are being recruited. Body worn cameras as well as short spotters in high density crimes areas are being prioritized. Meanwhile, at the University of Cape Town, third year social work student Zukile Tentema is setting up a youth violence prevention center. He aims to provide data analysis to help anti-crime organizations measure success. Um, of course, we want to help some of these grassroots organizations with proposal writing um, and other aspect of um, academic aspect. But most importantly, we will also be boots on the ground. There is a shortage of social workers in South Africa, home to over 60 million people, and many of its social ills are rooted in poverty. Ntentema says everyone must work together to combat the high homicide statistics so that the country's future generations not only survive, but also prosper. Vicky Stark for VOA News, Cape Town, South Africa.